right guys so we're back again with another reddit story this one from off my chest title is I'm so scared of my brother going into the Marines. I-17F and my brother's biggest supporter. We are fraternal twins, so he's the only person that I have had for my entire life. My entire family is dreading him going to the Marines next summer, but not in the same way that I am. They all look down on him for it, like he isn't intelligent enough to decide for himself whether or not he can go. By the way, my brother isn't going because he can't make it into college or anything. This is just genuinely what he wants to do in his heart, hence my support. I want him to feel like he has someone on his side. I'd hate for him to leave thinking none of us support his choice he supports me so i owe it to him at the same time i am so scared every time my mother argues with me she's always like oh you support him so you want a dead brother you want him to be paralyzed is that what you want my grandma does this too and i've cried in the middle of arguments because of it i'm just scared i feel like i can't tell him because he'll either be mad or feel guilty i'm just worried i would absolutely be devastated if anything happened to him. so as someone who served in the military i will tell you that your brother is going to be absolutely fine unless he ends up in a combat mo um, an MOS for those of you who don't know means military occupational specialty which is basically your job in the military unless he ends up in a combat MOS he is highly unlikely to ever see combat and even if he ends up in a combat MOS, he is still highly unlikely to ever see combat. And the reason I say this is because we are currently not at war with any country. I don't foresee us going to war anytime soon. I know a lot of people are worried about World War III and China and Israel and all these other countries, Iran, that hate America. I don't really foresee us going into war with them anytime soon. But if he just picks like a regular job in the military, he's gonna be absolutely fine. He's not gonna see any combat he's not going to see any kind of action i mean it's possible i know people that i've served with that saw combat even in non-combat related mos's usually when that happens is when you're in some sort of support role and you have to go out on a convoy and they ambush your convoy but more than likely your brother is going to be totally fine now i hate ignorant people like your parents who can't even be bothered to do you know a bit of research on the military i served 11 and a half years i never even deployed i served eight years in the reserves i did three and a half years active duty never deployed one now i wanted to deploy especially when i was in the reserves because my unit was deploying like every two years as a reservist but most of the time i mean they were deploying to kuwait which is now considered a vacation and they would send groups to afghanistan but they never left the wire and even if they did leave the wire to go to some other uh fob or whatever it was usually not even in a regular convoy they'd go by helicopter like they were flown in and flown out like it's just extremely unlikely for your brother to see combat or be paralyzed like your parents are saying you shouldn't be worried i would say just support your brother and trust me when i tell you that he's making a good decision i think that me joining the military was probably the best decision that i ever made in my life obviously that's not the case for everybody but it certainly was for me i met some of the coolest people that i know to date some of my best friends i met them through there people i consider family he's gonna build bonds that you can't build anywhere else i've been out of the military now since 2020 and i'm a regular civilian with a regular job and the connections aren't the same because you don't live the same experience that you do when you are a service member now i was in the marine i was in the army and the marine brotherhood is very close once a marine was a marine you don't build those kind of bonds outside it's just impossible because when you're with those people you go through the shits together you eat together you sleep together you drink together you go to work together you literally live you go to work and unless you're married and live off post or live on on post housing you guys you go from work to the same building all of you live in the same building when it's Friday afternoon, 1700 or 5 p.m. for the civilians, right? And you want to go, but no one's allowed to be released because something didn't get done. That's something that you do together. You suffer together. You don't get to leave. Nobody gets to leave. And you build a bond that's impossible to build outside. Because once you're outside, you get off of work, you go home. You don't hang out with these people. You don't go live in the same building. It's just a totally different, unique experience. And he will get to experience the world. More than likely, he'll get to travel. He'll get to go to Japan. He'll get to go across the country. And I'm telling you, it's probably probably one of the best choices he can make and if he uses the military correctly he will use it as a stepping stone and build off of that and that's what i did i think your brother's gonna be fine you shouldn't be worried but your parents uh, especially your mom and your grandma definitely need to be educated it sounds to me like they're 
military haters but you know that's their prerogative that's the reason why everybody that serves serves for your mother to have the right to be an ignorant idiot that's just my opinion i think your brother's gonna be totally fine don't sweat it too much you'll be okay trust me but that's all i've got to say guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below sure to like subscribe hit that bell notification follow me on social media the links are always in the description down below and i'll see you guys in the next video peace